Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Amazing World of Science and I am Dr. Radha Subramaniam, your science teacher. So already uh, in the previous class I had covered a part of uh, your first lesson 10th standard uh, and now today uh, we are going to learn the types of chemical reaction. So this is uh, from chapter 1 class 10 NCERT chemistry. So in the previous sessions I had uh, taught you how to uh, balance a chemical equation and which is very important uh, that is you should know the concepts and the lesson name is chemical reactions and equations chapter 1 NCERT chemistry class 10. Okay, so today I will be continuing with the types of chemical reactions fine. Okay. Now already you have learned what is meant by chemical reaction. Okay, uh, and class 9 also you have learned that during a chemical reactions atom of one element do not change into those of another element nor do atoms disappear from the mixture or appear from elsewhere. So during chemical reaction what actually happens is that it just is baking and breaking of bonds between atoms to form new substances. So you know uh, between elements uh, chemical bonds you know elements are held in, an, uh, in a molecule or a compound by bonds. So normally reactions occur by breaking or making of bonds between the atoms. Okay, now let us see one reaction here see calcium oxide it reacts with water rigorously to form slake lime. So what is uh, another name of calcium oxide it is quick lime CaO. So quick lime reacts with water forming slake lime what is slake lime CaOH twice you have to remember this equation and during this reaction a large amount of heat is released this is an exothermic reaction what is an exothermic reaction uh, these are reaction in which uh, heat energy in plenty is given out. Okay, here what happens is that calcium oxide and water will combine to form a single product calcium hydroxide. So two reactants undergo reaction forming a single product. Such type of reaction in which a single product is formed from two or more reactants is known as a combination reaction. Okay, so what is a combination reaction? Two or more reactants combine to form a single product is known as a combination reaction. So we will see more examples of combination reaction and uh, before that uh, you can see uh, one uh, important note given here that is the uh, solution of slake lime produced by uh, you know normally what is it used for you know you have seen whitewashing walls and all that. So calcium hydroxide it reacts slowly with the carbon dioxide in the air and it forms calcium carbonate okay and uh, calcium carbonate is formed after 2 to 3 days of white washing and which gives a shiny finish to the walls and uh, the note uh, see the equation or the chemical formula CaOH twice aqueous plus CO2 will give calcium carbonate CaCO3 plus H2O okay. So that is what uh, you have to remember about the white washing of walls and uh, calcium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide to form thin layer of calcium carbonate on the walls. Okay, now some other type of combination reactions we can see C plus O2 burning of coal. Coal is another form of carbon it reacts with oxygen to give carbon dioxide and then formation of water from hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, so in simple language what do you say when two or more substances or elements combine to form a single product then the reactions are called combination reactions. Remember what is meant by combination reaction because for the exam you will be given a reaction and asked to identify what type of reaction it is. So we also saw that a large amount of heat is involved and uh, which makes a reaction mixture warm. So reaction in which heat is released along with the formation of products are called exothermic chemical reactions. So what is meant by exothermic reactions already as I said reaction in which heat is released along with formation of products. We have got some other examples for exothermic reaction that is burning of natural gas. So what is natural gas? Methane CH4 plus oxygen gives CO2 plus H2O and you know that respiration also is an exothermic process. 
you know that you uh, need energy to stay alive. So, where do you get this energy from the food we eat and during digestion what happens to the food? The food is broken down into simpler substances like rice, potatoes, bread these all contain carbohydrates. Okay, so, uh, you might have heard of carbohydrates is very important. These carbohydrates which is present in these food materials like rice, potato and all that it is broken down to form glucose and in turn this glucose will combine with oxygen in our body cells and produces energy. So, this energy or this type of reaction it is called respiration and you have to learn further about such reactions in chapter 6. So, what is the formula for glucose C6H12O6 plus 6O2 gives CO2 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus energy ok and also uh, decomposition of vegetable matter into compost that is a form of a fertilizer that is also known as an uh, it is an example of exothermic reaction ok. Now, uh, you understood what is meant by combination reaction two or more reactants combined to form a single product and we saw a few examples of that and we learned what is exothermic reaction and a few examples. Now, we are coming on to decomposition reaction this is the second type of reaction that is uh, you might have seen that uh, green color of ferrous sulphate crystal what is ferrous sulphate FeSO4 solid ok and uh, when it is heated it changes into Fe2O3 which is ferric oxide plus SO2 plus SO3 and you also get the smell of characteristic uh, order or smell of burnt sulphur. So, what can you see in this reaction that is here you can see only a single reactant it is breaking down to give you 3 products simple products ok. So, such reaction like uh, where the ferrous sulphate is breaking down to give ferric oxide SO2 sulphur dioxide and sulphur trioxide SO3 and uh, see ferrous sulphate crystals FeSO4 7 H2O it loses water when heated and color of the crystal will change then it is decomposing to ferric oxide sulphur dioxide sulphur trioxide and what is ferric oxide it is a solid while SO2 and SO3 are gases and uh, another example is decomposition of calcium carbonate that is limestone to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide on heating that is an important decomposition reaction it is used in industries and calcium oxide we call it quick lime ok or just lime and it has got so many uses in the manufacture of cement is the one of the important uses and when a decomposition reaction is carried out by heating we call a thermal decomposition. So, what is thermal decomposition? It is a decomposition reaction carried out by heating ok. Now, uh, next uh, you can see here another equation uh, for decomposition let, that is lead nitrate PbNO3 twice on heating gives lead oxide plus nitrogen dioxide and oxygen ok and uh, see normally you just uh, take uh, one activity is given here 2 gram of silver chloride in it this is a china dish ok. Then uh, what is its color like place it uh, this china dish in presence of sunlight and what happens to the color of the silver chloride after some time you can see that the white color silver chloride will change gray in presence of sunlight because of the decomposition of silver chloride in presence of sunlight to silver and chlorine by the reaction with light. So, today we learned uh, combination and decomposition two types of reactions and I hope the, these two reactions are very clear and uh, uh, you can all very well read go through the textbook and uh, revise this pretty well. So, that you get this concept extremely clear in your mind and uh, do like share subscribe to our cha channel amazing world of science and uh, we will be uploading more videos for you shortly. Thanks for watching.